All right, well, today is November the 4th, 2018. This is a part two update. Currently, we've got 77 degrees now at uh, 3.45 p.m. on Sunday. 30% relative humidity, and the dew point is 43 degrees. The barometer is down at 29.91 inches. Okay, so uh, the skies are blanketed with a heavy chemtrail aerosol haze, and we're looking at the uh, northeast uh, Pacific water vapor loop. We can see that uh, we've got a jet stream flow right across the uh, Pacific and, and uh, into Oregon. California and Nevada. Let's go ahead and look at that jet stream map here right now. We can see the uh, flow pattern, high speed flow, especially right here, this white area, which is down in the 140, 130, 40, and 50 knot range. This uh, area here looks to be about maybe uh, 130 knots. So this is very high speed flow moving right into Oregon <clears throat> and a portion of California. We got high pressure installed down here off of Southern and Central California, that's winding some of this moisture down right over our area. We'll take a look at that here again right now on the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We can see that uh, we've got uh, some flow right here, moisture wrapping back around. You can see this big bow uh, as this uh, high pressure is, is uh, being moved by this uh, incoming jet stream moisture. We've got flow right down through the state. We should be having rain. Uh, based on this pattern, let's go ahead and look at the uh, the western U.S. water vapor loop. We can really see all this moisture heading right into uh, Southern California, right here in the IR map. We can really see some heavy pockets of moisture moving right down uh, into Southern California. Here's the Southwest infrared map. We can see this uh, huge pocket of moisture uh, coming through here just a, a few hours ago, maybe two, three hours ago. And this has all been sprayed over with the uh, aerosol chemtrail haze. Now, Google has been putting, uh, posting fake news links, propaganda, to uh, cloudy up the waters, to muddy up the waters, and uh, spread uh, propaganda. Uh, these uh, aerosols are not natural clouds. They are not condensation trails. And we know that because of the weather patterns that always result during days of heavy spring. So. Uh, anybody that is uh, spreading that information is, is either a shill or they're stupid or they watch too much TV. All right, getting back to the Northeast Pacific water vapor loop, we see we've got an upper level low pressure here just out east of the Hawaiian Islands right here, upper level low pressure. And that is looks to be, some of this is moving up towards the jet stream, but we can see that we've got a, these weather controllers have a, 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 a sort of a blockade built in right there. If we look at the IR map, we can see the blockade is effectively evaporating this northbound uh, tropical moisture from this uh, developing upper level low uh, pressure system. So we've got a, it, which this, this here looks like a, uh, I haven't looked at the surface pressure map, but this looks like a either a storm or a gale force system. And that is a winding moisture uh, right past it on the uh, jet stream. We can see that there's a blockade. This is a transmitter generated blockade right near this vortex of this low pressure. That's not allowing any of this moisture to flow into that low. That will prevent this low from intensifying. But uh, once again, the big news is today we should be experiencing a lot of rain, a lot of precipitation here in Southern California. And all we have here is hot, dry weather. Uh, you know, as they say, the humidity right now is only 32%. Uh, we should be having a cool, a cloudy, rainy conditions. From this pattern right here, this is a this is a, a jet stream, a, a atmospheric river of water flowing right down into uh, all of California. But if you look at the Doppler map, we see zero precipitation here in the state once again. So this is why we've got 140 million dead trees in the state. <clears throat> I don't know where Jerry Brown I heard that information that we're going to have a 10-year drought, but I think somebody ought to uh, get him by the collar and sit him down and start asking him a lot of questions. About what he knows and how he, why he would make such a statement. A Ten-year drought. All right, so uh, down here we have uh, Tropical Storm Xavier. Let's take a look at that. Here in the uh, East Pacific water vapor loop, we can see that this storm was actually moving towards the Mexican coast. If we look at the uh, National Hurricane Center map right here, Xavier is a tropical storm with 50 mile per hour winds, a central pressure of 1,001 millibar moving north at six miles per hour. Now let's look at the cone track. 
and we'll see that uh, today we're seeing that this storm is now going to be moving out to the west. All right now, just the other day, a couple of days ago, we were looking at this map and it was moving towards the Mexican coast with a, a U-turn shown in the, in the pattern here. That's been, of course, uh, today's map is different. We're seeing the storm uh, being pushed back uh, to, the, uh, to the west. So if you look at the maps here, we can see this very odd uh, high pressure installation right here on the east side of the uh, center of this storm, the most low pressure area, the vortex, that's the lowest pressure area of that uh, storm. So we've got high pressure right here being installed. This is a satellite transmitter doing this, carving up a, a uh, and installing a high pressure area, and that is going to push the storm back to the west. And I presume the reason for that is is because of the, we've got a jet stream pattern moving right down through the uh, southwest and of course if this storm moves into uh, mexico this uh, xavier right down here that this could get up uh, caught up in the jet stream and maybe uh, move and merge with this big weather system out over the uh, midwest so that looks to me to be the strategy to prevent emerging of uh, tropical storm xavier with the jet stream and possibly getting mixed up with what's going on out here uh, over the uh, midwest all right, so here's the western U.S. map. We can see a lot of moisture moving through uh, Nevada and California, and the Doppler shows really nothing except for the northeast corner of uh, Nevada. Let's go ahead and we'll click on that and try to get the bigger map uh, lined up. Let's look at the uh, pressure maps. The surface pressure map right here shows high pressure uh, installed. This is a man-made high pressure. This is always out here. Look at all these squiggly isobars throughout the southwest u.s these isobars should all be smooth flowing lines but they're not we see a lot of angular uh, jaggies squiggly lines all over the place this is unnatural this is a uh, high and low pressure all mixed together generated by the high pressure from these satellites which disturb the uh, pressure from zero to uh, eighteen thousand feet which is the surface map okay so the mid-level map, the 500 millibar map, we see the, the flow. There's a lot of uh, lines here. This is where the jet stream is flowing right into California and Oregon. We see some jaggies right here. We've got low pressure indicated over the Hawaiian Islands out here at the 500 millibar level. Now, if we go to the 300 millibar chart, we see this uh, closed upper level low. That's that spinning, that giant weather system that's spinning right near the uh, Hawaiian Islands. So we see a, a strange curve down here. There's high pressure installed right in this area to prevent the uh, Xavier from moving up and getting caught up in this uh, jet stream pattern right here. And also this uh, storm system, uh, gale force system over, uh, looks like uh, Kansas and Nebraska, the center of that low. Okay. And now here's the floater map showing uh, Xavier down uh, off of Mexico. We can see here in this infrared image What's happening? Let me get this uh, blank frame get it turned off. Okay, so here we have, we can see the uh, high pressure being installed right here on the east side, and that's going to turn this thing around and shoot it right back out into the Pacific. And we're watching that here live. You can see some blast pattern evidence out here on the northwest edge. They're going to turn this thing around and move it out back out to the uh, ocean. So there it is. I, I really uh, hope that the uh, Trump administration, the uh, people, uh, <clears throat> Secretary of Defense and uh, President Trump and his crew sit down and start paying attention to the weather because uh, the uh, fake news weather on, on fake news television is, uh, is insufficient. The uh, cartoon weather is entirely insufficient. It's it's a, a ruse. It's done to mislead people. Uh, the American media is the enemy of the American people. The U.S. media, corporations that are running the networks, NBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, Fox, all of them, all the fake news you can handle, it's, uh, it's uh, causing division among the people. It's causing fighting, and uh, the U.S. media is directly 
responsible for that. Not only are they peddling, uh, causing problems in the political arena, but we're seeing obviously that in the we can't even get real weather reports. Uh, they're not showing us the facts. That in fact, they're spreading disinformation. Chemtrails are exactly what's going on. The spraying of chemical aerosols to prevent the lift in the atmosphere. Instead, we're being told that uh, those are contrails. Contrails are, are uh, that in itself is a, is a conspiracy theory. The people uh, running this conspiracy operation, the, the deep state, would have every, everyone believe that, uh, that the contrails are clouds, natural clouds. They're not. There's a reason why these chemtrails are sprayed. They're done at specific times. And the specific timing of the chemtrail spraying really tells us all we need to know. It's, it's self-evident. It speaks for itself. It's a very simple deductive reasoning what's going on here. We have no precipitation. Let's look at the Doppler map here. We can see plenty of rain out there in the Midwest and zero out here on the uh, West Coast. This is really amazing. So there it is. Uh, zero rain with uh, this activity going on right here. Look at all that moisture moving down through California. Okay, that's it.